I'm Jerome Weeks. Matt Albert is a member of the Contemporary Music Ensemble, 8th Blackbird. The Grammy Award-winning group is currently in residence at Southern Methodist University. 8th Blackbird specializes in world premieres and in unconventional new works. <laughs> Welcome to Think. Thanks, Jerome. It's great to be here. Give us a sense of the kind of music 8th Blackbird performs. The piece we just saw was Music in Similar Motion by Philip Klass, yes. but that kind of minimalism isn't the only kind of style you play. No, 8th Blackbird is a classical chamber music group that plays music mostly written by composers who are living today. There are many styles of composition that people are writing today from that kind of piece. Uh, that piece, actually Music in Similar Motion is one of the oldest pieces that we play, I think from the 1960s. Uh, and there are other pieces like that that take small repeated figures and repeat them over and over and over again. But we also play pieces that are that come from different parts of the classical tr tradition, as well as more and more there are younger composers who are coming up who are influenced by uh, indie rock or by other kinds of music altogether. Now, the, the kind of music you play can be often described by people as, as difficult. It may lack a conventional melody, for instance. Yeah. Yet, yet Eighth Blackbird has been hailed for making this accessible, even entertaining in performance. What have you been up to? <laughs> I, hope that we, I hope we succeed at making it accessible or entertaining. The th thing is, we pick this music and we play this kind of music because we love it and because it touches us in some way. I think the point of music or art or anything is to speak to the heart, speak to the emotions of the people who are seeing or hearing that art. So what we try to do is, although we are taking pieces that have a different surface, they might not have a melody or a beat that people are used to hearing, uh, they are still saying something that really touches us. So from the stage, we make sure to introduce these pieces. We'll just give somebody a little bit of a way in. Uh, make sure that people know that we're human, <laughs> that we're just people who are just playing these pieces for them. And uh, we try to make the concert experience as fun, as casual as possible while still keeping it a concert. Uh, what we wear, we, we, we haven't worn tuxedos in 14 years or something like that in our 15 years. <laughs> and, and we just try to keep it a, a more fun and an engaged experience, we hope. You're, you're also known for commissioning new yes. works. In particular, you commissioned uh, Steve Reich's Double Sextet, yeah. which won the Pulitzer Prize last year. Yeah. Uh, this isn't just an occasional thing. There's a whole string of commissions. Right. Why? Well, this instrumentation is not a typical instrumentation. Our group has two wind players and two string players and a percussionist and a pianist. Uh, this is an instrumentation that people wrote for a little bit in the early 20th century and then more and more from the late 60s on. Uh, so there is a body of repertoire for that, but at the same time being a new music group uh, and wanting to promote the idea that people are living today and writing music and creating things today, uh, commissioning it becomes a big part of what we do. And we try to find as wide a div diversity of, of, of compositional styles, of types of composers when they're writing for us so that we stay interested and so that we get a lot of different kinds of projects coming towards us. So it's some idealism but also self-preservation. <laughs> you need new material. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we, ne we need stuff to do. We need things that will uh, help us kind of uh, give us things to play on the road. Yeah, sure. But, there's, but, but part of it is, is wanting to be a part of the larger arts community as well and keeping things going. You were, the 8th Blackbird was one of the first recipients of the, the Meadows Prize, yeah. which uh, comes with a number of uh, requirements. And one of those is a significant interaction with SMU students. Yes. So what, could you explain what that has involved? Absolutely. We have uh, done a variety of things from, we've coached chamber music groups, uh, to, we've listened to performers and given them critiques, we've rehearsed with them, we've gone into student composer uh, workshops and we've done readings of their works where we'll try out a passage and then say, what did that sound like? Did it sound like what you expected? And they'll say, no, could you try this a little bit louder and we'll tweak it for them and talk about how a composer writes something so that then that can be interpreted by a performer. Uh, later in, in the coming weeks and the coming months, I think we're going to be doing even more 
kinds of performances where we ask the students to think about what it means to put on a classical music performance, uh, uh, how many people can be involved, what kinds of things, what kinds of venues can you do these performances at. Uh, so we're going to kind of challenge them in those ways and hopefully get the students involved in collaborating with one another. Uh, the Meta School at SMU is fabulous in that it, it has music and art and dance and theater all there and there's a lot of opportunities for collaboration there. One of the other requirements is to leave a lasting legacy in the yes. Dallas area. Can you tell us what you plan on doing? Our, the legacy that we've, we've talked about this a lot actually mm -hmm. and what we hope we get to leave is uh, an excitement and a sense of questioning involvement both in the community and in the students at SMU for what it means to become a professional musician and what it means to go to a classical music event. Uh, I th Dallas has many successful arts organizations, one of the best symphonies, uh, art museums, everything like that. Uh, what we're trying to provide is uh, an option or, or something that if someone is going into music and thinks they might not want to go into orchestra but do something else instead, we're showing them that that can be done. So hopefully by being here and, and showing the example of what we do will inspire other people to do similar things. Fifteen years ago when you started, did you have a, a model in mind? You know, hey, there's a Kronos Quartet, we'll be the Kronos Sextet. Yeah. There's the Kronos Quartet was of course a group that we, we talked about a lot and, and when I was in high school, listening to their recordings was a really inspiring and kind of jaw-dropping experience at that time. Uh, that was one of the groups and then there were groups like Speculum Music High and the, the Bang on a Can All-Stars were, were, were coming up in New York at that time as well and seeing that you could do, th those two groups are kind of a good example in Kronos. Kronos has a kind of rock vibe especially with their playing of Jimi Hendrix and stuff whereas Speculum Music High is a group in New York very associated with the composers living in New York. Mm -hmm. And that showed us that there were two different ways to do it. And so we thought, well, what if we want to do a little of both? So. It was very interesting work. It was very interesting talking to you. Thank Good you very much, it. Jerome. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Find out more about 8th Blackbird at our website, artandseek.org. Chris. Thanks, Jerome. To access our free podcast, you can go to the Think page of KERA's website, kera.org slash think. And we'd like to know your thoughts on the show as well. You can email us at think at kera.org. My name is Chris Boyd. Thanks for being with us, and have a great week. To learn more, go to kera.org slash think. Think is made possible in part by... Dell Services. Dell Services develops and delivers a comprehensive suite of IT and application services, business process solutions, and consulting services designed to help customers succeed. For more information, you can visit dell.com services. By Southwest Securities, a nationally recognized regional brokerage firm that's been meeting the needs of Southwest investors for more than 30 years. Southwest Securities is a member of the New York Stock Exchange and SIPC by the Executive Education Center at the University of Texas at Dallas, providing degree and non-degree programs to help corporate professionals and executives stay ahead. On the web at som.utdallas.edu slash executive. And by the valued support of KERA members. Thank you.